Hi guys, this is Thomas from DI Media Holding. Uh, we're looking forward today to do another uh, interesting experiment uh, with silver recovery. Uh, I got my hands on some really, really interesting and cool material. Uh, what you see here uh, is what uh, rest uh, of um, silver plated wire uh, used in a machine building industry. Um, in composition, in composition uh, every wire has even tinier, uh, thinner wire. Um, these are all uh, silver plated with a copper base material. Uh, actually, I think um, um, these wires are uh, electroplated, so that means that the silver layer um, is really, really thin. I got this uh, from a friend of mine. Uh, he thinks uh, it has uh, 25 or 30 percent uh, silver of its weight. Uh, I don't really know. Um, we're gonna test that and um, come to a conclusion. Uh, you have uh, approximately 100 grams. Uh, that's uh, in North American measurements. Uh, uh, that is uh, 3.5 ounces. Um, that means that. Um, 400 grams uh, we uh, need to have um, 25 or uh, 30 grams of silver uh, we, we're, we're gonna use um, really simple uh, uh, silver recovery method uh, it's called the chloride method um, we're gonna soak uh, this little wires in uh, nitric acid and then precipitate it uh, with um, uh, salty water and after that we're going to recover the uh, silver chloride and um, uh, calculate the uh, actually uh, silver composition of these rest wires. So we are moving uh, on to our test site. Um, so long for now. So guys we are back at our test site with our um, silver plated wire coming from the machine building industry um, as I told you before I think uh, the wires are electroplated uh, what means um, that the silver layer is really really thin um, we're gonna see um, uh, we're gonna first soak the silver wire and the nitric acid we have here 65% uh, uh, nitric acid and uh, on the right side uh, really really saturated salty water to to recover the um, to first to precipitate the silver chloride and uh, then uh, recover it um, you have to be aware if the silver layer is heated up really really fast that is also a sign that the silver layer is really really thin if you compare that to um, silver plated flatware um, what has um, approximately um, like it's marked uh, 80 90 100 um, 100 microns um, that's 10% uh, of its weight uh, I don't know how it's gonna react we are just gonna start and uh, look at the results It's already reacting. I'm gonna put a little bit more in it. Yeah, as I told you before, uh, it has a really, really silver, uh, really, really thin silver layer on it. It's starting to eat it up. So many of my viewers complain that I uh, don't wear any gloves, so uh, there you go. It's already start to fume. We're gonna leave it a couple of minutes to react and then we're gonna come back. We are moving on on our experiment. A couple of minutes ago we had a really hard reaction. 
that's why you need to uh, do something like that really really slowly so we are back at our test site uh, we already res um, dissolved a part of the silver wires i think um, about um, 25 30 percent of it uh, 30 grams 30 40 40 maybe of 40 grams in it and or 200 milliliters of um, nitric acid it's getting saturated uh, i'm just going to throw um, another one or two pieces in it so that you can see how slow it reacts how long does it take that the whole silver wire is heated up and when it's done we're gonna start with the precipitating process to have a, a first a preliminary result, and uh, I'm gonna test. Um, I'm gonna uh, dissolve the whole material um, today afternoon. Um, we're just gonna start to precipitate with our saturated salty water. As you can see, the silver is precipitating. Uh, silver chloride has been created. We're gonna put a little, bit, little bit more of salty water so that we can be sure that the whole silver from the actually um, silver nitrate, uh, uh, silver nitrate solution, is precipitated into silver chloride. maybe put almost all of our uh, saturated uh, salty water in it um, don't forget after you uh, are done with the experiments uh, as we do it uh, ourselves uh, we're gonna take the uh, rest materials and uh, assets to um, um, to um, a specialized company to dispose that we're gonna wait a little bit more we're gonna stir a little bit and after we uh, filter it and dry it and uh, dissolve all of our silver wires we're gonna come back with uh, results thanks for now So guys, we are back from our test site and we have here uh, our result, uh, our uh, completely dried out silver chloride and as you see we have a little leftover material here. Um, I have to say that my friend is going to be disappointed because uh, at the point of time uh, when I saw that the yield is not going to be that high, uh, I stopped the experiment uh, and I decided to uh, recover only 25 grams because we didn't want to waste any material. So um, we're going to uh, start to put that on a scale and look where we stand. So as you see we have almost 0 0.7 grams of silver chloride. That means that um, uh, calculating uh, the, with the molecular mass of the silver chloride um, it has uh, almost uh, or approximately 75% silver in it. Uh, that means we have a little over uh, 0.5 of a gram um, silver um, in this 25% uh, tested material and with uh, 0 0.5 uh, of a gram for 25 grams of uh, 
such silver wire we come um, a close to uh, 2% a 2% yield so that's because um, I think this silver wires are uh, electroplated and the layer is really really thin so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed our video uh, if you if you like our videos then uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel rate comments and maybe even share the videos thank you very much